So if you've been watching along with my first trip to Sierra Leone vlog series, then you know that me and Walter literally just met probably like two days before, and these are the type of conversations that the African diaspora is having in Africa just on a random casual breakfast. Conversations with the strangers get so deep, y'all. Talking about the Bible, talking about the promise, talking about who we are as a mighty, mighty race, talking about what brought us to Africa, and so much more. Spirituality. A lot about, you know, about the Bible and the words that are in it. So, myself as well, like when I begin to to read it, and I realize that the book was about us, it, it, it was very specific about a specific people, about a specific region. Um, and it just kind of helped to the truth and the lives that were told. Uh -huh. And that's kind of how I ended up in Sierra Leone, um, just searching uh, for truth. Yeah. You know, like real, like re realizing that you know the United States is um you know they they enslaved us here and they have a constitution that was was not written uh you know for our best interest. Uh -huh. So we keep trying to go back to it and keep trying to rationalize and like you said, vote and go through legislation and you know get the, the, right. the killing of a unarmed. Negro man by police turn into a hate crime, but they, they hate us. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that's and certain things we have to realize will never change. Like, the system's not broken, it's designed exactly, that way. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's like sometimes it's until we realize that, because sometimes we're just heating up against a solid steel wall, and it's like, no, but why are we even trying to get over this wall? Yeah. what is there for us even on the other side because like the way I looked at it also too is America is tainted by so much horrible history yeah. that they haven't atoned for yeah. it's a land that to me why do I even want to be here and I get a lot of us are like no but we built this place so it's my I get right. it I get, it too. I get that too like, you know right <laughs> You owe me and you owe me. I'm just supposed to walk away yeah, from it, yeah, but like, yeah. Nah, that's a fade. <laughs> that's what the young kids say. Like, yeah, we, we got to fight. Right. It's but a, but some fight. things still. So, sometimes you just have because to especially when you know what amazing people are, we can build anywhere we go. Exactly. We've already done it. Right. But but not under our own volition. We've done it under, under the wrong kind of pretense. Exactly. So this, this might be an opportunity to, to actually build mm -hmm. the right way. Right. You know what I mean? Without being enslaved, without being oppressed, without having pissed God off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and, falling in line. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and like being cursed that way, but yeah. like, can we build it for real, like the, the right way? Yeah. So, so that that was my thing. So what I what I was saying was that you know all, all of these other groups of people, um, you know, they know they know how to they know. Um, how to get uh, how how to get us to out of life. God's cover? Mm -hmm. um, how to because otherwise we're covered, we're protected. Like you said, like any other any other people, very very powerful statement. Any other people would have would have been extinct, extinguished. So I imagine that we are being covered and protected. Absolutely, even in our worst <laughs> yeah, of yeah, times, even, and that's even the in thing. our worst of times. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and even you, you look at, um, even in, let's say, the transatlantic slave ships on the slave people, their document, their, what they wrote, basically, and they wrote saying that, like, we've always said we, we know we're protected. And sometimes it sounds ludicrous to other people, like, how, look at your life. Like, even people in circumstances where you look at their life, how can you feel so connected to God and things like that? We, we, we're those people and we scream it and we shout it and we whatever whether good or bad but just like you said when you start reading the book on your own that's when you realize the lies and where they've misled us into like because I've always said like there's power in the name but when I realized I was calling the wrong name and I'm like oh
because and it was my boyfriend that brought me and that's kind of started this whole journey when I was joking about something and I was like my ancestors would have said Jesus blah blah and he's like babe your ancestors could not have said Jesus when J was a letter that was created in the 15th century and I was like wait a second you're right I was like well so then what, what did they call him you know what I'm saying and so then when I started researching and then you find all the other things why would you change certain name you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. a, a powerful names like mm -hmm. and that's when I was like oh it's a rap like I wait been, like, like wait yeah yeah and I started digging and started finding the truth and it's so, yeah see, really, really seeking really seeking really seeking, seeking. Uh, really seeking. Deep. And it gets deep, and you have but you have an awakening. Yeah. And just like you said, when you said like when you came here, like you feel empowered already, and even without doing anything, yeah, just being here, just the perspective to know, wait, I'm on this continent. What a beautiful continent! What a beautiful set of people. The possibilities that are here, it's just like, oh no, it's a wrap. And just like you said, wait till we come back home and tell 10 or 20. Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want to lose their little looking stick. But they are. Oh. And they're going to have to atone. But this is the, this is the part of it that I don't think they realize. Like, if they know this is prophesied, because it's ones that are really trying to keep us in bondage to me. You know who we are, and you know the story. Don't you see this awakening? And don't you just try to switch up and try to like help us? Evil man, they, you know. They think they can yeah, really they, stop they, it. They do. They, yeah. they, they, the yeah. arrogance, evil has a, has a sense of arrogance, yeah. right? That's, that's why the bad guy is always monologuing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's deep. That's deep. Because they, they did. Because, and because, they, they, because they actually believe their own lives. Yeah. Like, they, they really believe in so, so they, they, they got to put up the fight. Uh, but as sure as I'm here, Exodus has, has that to do with that. Because when we went into the monuments and relics, how many people do you think are here for this? Maybe about maybe 50. Yeah, I think there's about 50 about people people's here people's to get their people. citizenship. So, I mean, this, they do this twice a year, so maybe 100. 100. And I think it's going to grow and grow and grow. And I'm hoping that other countries open this opportunity up for other diasporians because it's funny um on my youtube channel i think i had said you know like i got the call yeah, I, need to the call. I, need, I need you to send it to me what, what is it oh yeah and it's square huxtable i'll definitely send square, it to you the square no just, oh, square, just square square, square huxtable yeah okay. on youtube but um, i'll send you a link yes yeah, so i i i um yeah. as a matter of fact like i told you a guy the guy who i was in the gym with was featured on the on, on the on a the channel, channel. That, that I follow. Yeah. So for me, like like you said, my seeking took me. I mean, I'm just I'm on YouTube. I'm watching because I'm I'm on invest. Like like God knows me. Like I'm like I like to do things a certain way. Yeah. Like, so when I, I think about a movie, I'm thinking about the dirt first, the ground, the real estate. Mm. Because you have to. So unfortunately I cut the camera because I was going to be done with this conversation because this was not a planned interview, this was not a planned filming of this conversation, it was just, it was getting so good, I was like, can I film this for my YouTube channel? And he had just said he looks for land first, like in coming to Africa, because that was the promise. And it hit me and I was like, yo, because a lot of us are here on a spiritual calling, right? And Abraham was promised land for his generations and their generations and their generations, which is us, y'all. And so that totally makes sense that the first thing we should be looking for is land. It's crazy. You guys check out this Africa is the promised land video that I did. That was one of the first videos I did on this channel. So it's just full circle having this conversation with Walter. Let's jump right back into the combo. Land is what was promised. 
it was about real estate from the jump. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I lead with. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. it, it, I mean, just to just to talk really straight, like to, to make it really make sense, like, like the promise, yeah, the, the promise was about it was real estate, yeah. it was land, it was dirt from the jump. Mm. So, That's deep. <laughs> right? That's deep. Yeah. I never even put two and two together like that. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Point That's, point yeah, period. Point. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So he said you will be blessed with land for your all your generations, and the land is on this continent that we're talking about. It was it was it was about real estate. So mm -hmm. that was always that's all that's your just that's always my first thing because. That's what was promised. Yeah. Like even I tell you, I was I was even wondering like um like I said, an answer to a prayer. Like how was how would how would Abraham and I'm I'm just using name the English names that are written. But how 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 would these people able to amass all of this land and ten thousand sheep and ten thousand goats and ten thousand bulls? Tens of thousands of livestock. All oh, these rich, these rich people, these wealthy, wealthy people. How? This is how. I'm here, and I mean, we're in a position where, like I said, we have access to a strong currency, the currency of our oppressors, by the way. But just the way that the economic system is set up, we're super strong back home. That's how we get back to that status. And so that is really at the the foundation, the basis of Absolutely. of this movement. Because like I said, the promise was about real estate. So I started to look into like, okay, well, where do I want to be? Because I don't even know who I am. Right. I took this ancestry.com test and said, oh, you maybe 30% Nigerian, 20 Cameroon, whatever. Right, those people get our DNA, send it to the Department of Law Enforcement, register it, and then don't really give us answers. Right, right, right. It's kind of generic. Yeah, right? well, 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 when you do research on who one of those companies. That part. <laughs> well, that's why a, I didn't do 23 Me for sure. Right. See, and I, and I and I was I wanted it so bad that I did Ancestry, I did 23 Me. And then um, I was connected to this group, and they were like, "Oh no, don't do it because they like sell your information to the insurance companies, mm -hmm. so that they can find out like if you're more, you know, susceptible to diabetes, then they won't insure you, mm -hmm. like all kind of stuff yeah, like that is happening whatever, in, in the background." Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm following. Um, so I'm like, I, you know, I, I keep hearing. I know some people have been to Ghana. I know other people who have been lots of uh, other places. And they were just, just talking about like some of the price points, some of what's available, even in South uh, South Africa, in Joburg and some of those places. Like acreage is, is very reasonably priced. So I hear. So I'm like, okay, because like I said, I'm I'm a dirt first kind of person. Um, so I'm like, okay. Um, but I felt like I needed, I needed to have some kind of citizenship. I needed to have some kind of right in this land first. So I kind of took a pause on, on it and then started to figure out, well, how, do I how, 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 looked at Tagana, your return, my parents have to be Ghanaian and all of this, not gonna work, not gonna happen. So just started looking at it. Follow this kid named uh, Walter Maya. I love Walter Maya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of my favorite yeah, YouTubers. Yeah. Follow him. Yeah. And just got connected to a couple of the young ladies. Vanessa Canby is one who does real estate. Mm -hmm. Another girl named uh, a Mo. I think it's a Mo house by a Moa, something like okay. that. Just started following them. Just looking into what they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, got in, uh, end up following a guy named Jay Cameron, who's um, he came. He did. He, I think he may have come last year. To okay. Sierra Leone, but he was connected. He's connected, like you know, okay. in, into those group of YouTubers. He started like a travel, a travel group. Anyway, he um he ended up having Sierra Leone the DNA from African ancestry. And one of his videos, he talked about it. They came, they did the whole confirmation, um, and that kind of a thing. And he was saying like that's the only country. That, that's giving citizenship that, yeah. through the session process. And did you so, know at the time that you had Sierra no, descent? No, not at all. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm searching. I, I know that. I'm like, okay, well, this, this might be the way. So then um, I actually reached out to him 
Um, and, and like I said, I, I was, I'm in like this group chat with these people. They were like, oh, do African ancestry. Don't do the other ones because whatever. I had already done it done too it, late. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, 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 not planning, I'm not planning on killing anybody. So I think I'll be fine. Right. Right? <laughs> I mean, right. they, they'll, they'll run my DNA through the whatever, but I, I don't plan on being implicated right. in the murder. I don't plan on it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, you know, we got to protect our own. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Self-defense is yeah. self-defense. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not effing around crew. <laughs> um, nah, I, I follow them too. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so... Um, so, so, um, so I do, I do the test because I'm thinking... I did, I did like the ancestry test, and I think it. I wasn't sure if it was maternal or maternal. I don't, but it may have been. And, and even, and even uh, 23 and Me, I think I chose the maternal. I don't know why. I don't know. Um, so it kind of showed whatever. So I said, when I do African ancestry, I'm gonna do my paternal. Paternal, okay. So my father's DNA came back 100% Equatorial Guinea. The Bioko the Bioko tribe, whatever. Okay. On um so I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm like I looked into it, no Did way to get it? yeah, no no way to get into the country. But great I, I still wanna go to the country and see whatever. So I'm like, well let me go ahead and do the, the master plan test to African ancestry since they're giving me the percentage, they're giving me the the tribe, they're giving me the haplo groups, everything. Did that one. <laughs> And <laughs> no problem. Yeah.